Have you ever stopped to think about why, despite being a person full of light, you find yourself alone without many close friends or a partner who truly understands you? It's not a coincidence or a matter of chance. Today, we're going to delve into a profound and revealing topic, the loneliness of the chosen ones. We will explore the hidden reasons why those who possess such pure and powerful energy often walk alone in this world. We're not talking about imposed solitude, but rather a path that the soul itself chooses to reach a higher level of understanding and connection with its purpose. Stay with me until the end to discover how this solitude can become your greatest strength on the path to personal and spiritual fulfillment. First, it's crucial to understand that chosen individuals, those who vibrate at a higher frequency, often find it difficult to connect with others on a deep level. This elevated vibration is not something consciously chosen, but a state that develops over time through life experiences, lessons learned, and an intense connection with the universe. But this is where the challenge arises. Most people are not ready to interact with such powerful energy. Your light, which shines with a special intensity, not only illuminates the positive, but also exposes the shadows that others prefer to keep hidden. It's as if your presence acts as a mirror, reflecting truths that many are not ready to face. That's why some people distance themselves, not because they don't value you, but because they find it difficult to face what they see in themselves when they are near you. It's important not to interpret this distance as a personal rejection. Rather, it's a natural reaction to the intensity of your energy. Those who haven't worked on their own shadows may feel uncomfortable or even intimidated by the clarity with which you can see through the masks that many wear. This is one of the reasons why the Chosen Ones often find it difficult to surround themselves with many people and prefer the company of a few who truly resonate with their essence. Another key reason why the Chosen Ones often find themselves alone is their deep need for authenticity. In a world that often values the superficial and the immediate, the Chosen Ones seek connections that resonate with their true essence. They are not interested in relationships based on appearances or fleeting interests. They long for a depth that transcends the ordinary. This search for authenticity can take time, and during this process, it's common for them to prefer solitude over settling for superficial connections. Solitude in this context is not a void. On the contrary, it is a sacred space, a sanctuary where personal integrity is cultivated. This is where the Chosen One reconnects with their purest essence, aligns with their purpose, and prepares for the true connection that will inevitably come. This search for authenticity is not always easy. It requires courage to reject what doesn't resonate with our truth and patience to wait for what is truly worthwhile. Along this path, it's normal to encounter the temptation to settle for less, to accept relationships that don't fully nourish us out of fear of being alone. But the Chosen Ones know deep within their being that it is better to be alone than in the company that does not contribute to their spiritual growth. This kind of solitude is not a sign of weakness, but of strength. It is the external manifestation of an unwavering commitment to oneself and to the path of truth. The third crucial point is the inner healing journey that the Chosen Ones must undertake. Being chosen often means carrying deep wounds, often originating from past experiences, childhood traumas, or relationships that have not been fully healed. These wounds, far from being a weakness, are actually a source of power and spiritual growth. However, the healing process can be incredibly challenging and lonely, as it involves facing and releasing emotions trapped for years, sometimes decades. Solitude during this period is necessary as it provides the safe space the soul needs for introspection and transformation. Facing these wounds is no easy task. It requires deep courage to look within oneself and confront the pains and sufferings that have left scars on the soul. 
This process is like a spiritual purge, where the emotional toxins that have been holding back growth and expansion are released. Solitude here acts as a therapeutic tool, a space where the Chosen One can cry, heal, and finally let go of everything that no longer serves them on their path to wholeness. This time of inner retreat is vital for the Chosen Ones to emerge stronger, wiser, and more aligned with their true essence. It is like a process of internal alchemy, where wounds and pain are transformed into wisdom and spiritual power. Without this time alone, it is difficult for the Chosen One to reach their full potential, as they would be constantly distracted by the energies and expectations of others. Solitude then becomes a catalyst for healing and rebirth, allowing the Chosen One to rise from the ashes of their past like a phoenix, stronger and brighter than ever. The fourth aspect to consider is the life mission that the Chosen Ones are destined to fulfill. When you are chosen, the universe has a greater purpose for you, and this purpose often requires periods of isolation. During these moments of solitude, the Chosen Ones are shaped and refined to fulfill their destiny. It is in the quiet of solitude that the deepest revelations about the path to be followed are received. This isolation is not a punishment, but a preparation for something much greater and more significant. It is the moment when the soul connects directly with the universe to receive instructions and guidance for the next stage of the journey. It is important to understand that this isolation is a necessary part of the process. Like a sculptor shaping his masterpiece in the privacy of his studio, the universe is sculpting you, molding every aspect of your being to prepare you for the divine purpose that awaits you. This process can be long and lonely, but it is in this solitude that character is forged, resilience is developed, and the wisdom you will need to fulfill your mission is received. Solitude then becomes a tool of perfection, a process in which all imperfections and weaknesses are polished to reveal the brilliance of your true self. The fifth key point is the need to protect your energy. As a chosen person, your sensitivity and empathy make you extremely susceptible to the energies of those around you. You are like a sponge, absorbing the vibrations and emotions of others, which can be exhausting if you're not careful. This sensitivity requires careful management of social interactions. Being in the company of people who do not vibrate at the same frequency as you can drain your vital energy leaving you exhausted and disconnected from your essence. That's why many choose solitude as a way to protect their energy, allowing it to recharge and maintain its purity. This conscious isolation is an act of self-love and spiritual preservation. Protecting your energy is not a selfish act, but a spiritual necessity. If you don't take care of your energy, you risk burning out and losing connection with your purpose and the universe. Solitude, in this sense, is a refuge, a place where you can recharge your batteries, reconnect with your inner being, and maintain the integrity of your vibration. It is a time to cleanse your energetic field of external influences and ensure that you remain aligned with your true essence. This process is essential to maintaining the clarity, inner peace, and spiritual strength you need to fulfill your mission in life. The sixth crucial point is the preparation for a deeper and more meaningful connection. The Chosen Ones do not seek just any relationship, they seek a connection that is as deep and meaningful as they are. This kind of relationship does not appear overnight. It requires time, patience, and deep inner work. Both the Chosen One and their future partner must be aligned and vibrating at the same frequency for the relationship to flourish. While this type of connection manifests, the Chosen Ones work on themselves, cultivating their personal and spiritual growth. They know that a superficial relationship will not provide what they truly need, and they prefer to wait with patience and trust for the right person. This period of waiting is not wasted time. 
On the contrary, it is a time of preparation where every experience, every challenge, and every lesson you learn brings you closer to the person you are truly meant to be. As you become that person, you also draw closer to attracting the relationship that will truly resonate with your soul. This relationship will not be mere companionship, but a true spiritual partnership, a union of souls that support each other on their journey toward evolution and growth. This is why the Chosen Ones prefer to wait, knowing that what they are seeking is rare and valuable, and that it is worth every moment of solitude. Finally, the solitude of the Chosen Ones is also a time of alignment with their divine purpose. During these periods, life asks them to focus on their mission, to discover their true power and to use it for the greater good. Solitude allows the Chosen Ones to deepen their connection with the universe, understand their purpose and align with the divine forces that guide their path. This time of introspection and alignment is crucial for them to fulfill the destiny that has been entrusted to them. It is a time when the soul connects directly with the Divine Source, receiving the instructions and guidance it needs for the next stage of its journey. This process of alignment is essential for the Chosen Ones to fulfill their purpose in life. Solitude here acts as a sacred space where the Chosen One can connect deeply with their inner being and the Divine Forces that guide their path. It is a time of revelation and clarity, where the wisdom and understanding necessary to move forward in life are received. This time of solitude is, in reality, a time of preparation and strengthening, a time where the Chosen One connects with their true power and prepares to fulfill their divine destiny. In summary, the solitude of the Chosen Ones is not a burden, but a blessing in disguise. It is divine preparation for something much greater than themselves. If you are walking this path, remember that you are not alone in your solitude. This journey is an opportunity to connect deeply with your essence, to heal and to prepare yourself for the beautiful and meaningful connections that are yet to come. Embrace your solitude as a sign of strength and courage. It is a sacred space for growth, healing and alignment with your true purpose. Trust the process and understand that every moment of solitude is an essential part of your journey. The Chosen Ones often walk alone, but this solitude is where their greatest strength lies.